One of the key fundamental things that you should have as a man, fresh pack of teas, socks, cologne that smells good, and most importantly, your wallet. You should not sleep on your wallet. Now we have the extra and we have the ridge. And as you guys can see, these are not your ordinary wallets. They have some tricks up their sleeves to make it cool. So starting off with the extra series, this is the brand new aluminum card holder. But before we get into that, I had the Polymet series back in 2018. And you guys can see the additional wear and tear of it. So when you get your extra wallet, this is how it's gonna look, especially if you get in the leather series. So you have the you know scratches and stuff like that. But arguably, when leather looks scratchy like that and the wear and tear, it looks better throughout time. Now the Polymet series, they do sell on their website, extra.com, I throw a link in the description. And you have this flap here. So it is like a traditional wallet where you have this closing mechanism. So you could be able to open and close it. I wish it was a little loop or a strap so you could be able to close it, close it. Because one thing I can tell you, once you start storing some things, it's gonna be very hard to close this wallet. You can store your cards on the top and you see this release plate here. So you see this trigger, you could do that and it pops all your cards. So all six cards you could be able to see. All right, so I have my ID here. You can show the bartender. Yep, here's my ID. And then you just put it right back on the top or even so you can take your Apple card out, whatever the case may be. And you could be able to just flex just like that. I remember sitting down at Red Lobster I just turned 21 or maybe I was 22 and the, the the waitress wanted to see my ID. So I took out this wallet, the same very wallet. I pressed that trigger, boop, and they see it. And everybody was looking like, oh, what kind of wallet is that? So this is gonna start a lot of conversation. So this tracker here is provided by Chiplo. So you can add this for an additional $42. Um, and as you guys can see, once it's in your wallet long enough, it's actually gonna leave an embedded uh, marking on the wallet, but the AirTag is cheaper at $29, but the only problem with that, it's circular, so you can't store that you know, in your wallet. Fast forward to today, we have the Sense series and we have the Aluminum series. Two totally brand new wallets. Essentially, it's the Polymer series, but now you just have just this part here. So now, you have this leather finish. This time I picked up the steel blue, and we have the Midnight Blue Aluminum Series. So starting off with the Aluminum Series, this is gonna run you $76, and all it is, is still the same thing as the Polymer Series. You still have your strap, you can store cards, you can store cash, whatever you like, and you still have your card slot. So you can still store six cards on the top, store a little bit more cards on the front, and then you even have more storage on the back. And of course, you still have your NFID slash NFC protection, but only if it's out, you could be able to tap and pay. But me personally, I use Apple Pay. Apple Pay is so much better, so much more futuristic, but the aluminum series is just gold. And the best thing too about this, it's not gonna bulk up too much unless you're carrying a lot of cash. But with the aluminum card, you can store one to six on the top, but on the elastic back plate, you can store nine cards. It can match with your iPhone. So if you have a Pacific Blue iPhone 12 Pro, you could be able to have a color match. And then take a look at the Senate series. Works the same way, you still have that quick release plate, but this time it's just made up of leather instead of the aluminum. And I just love leather wallets. Something about it just gets me every time. It smells good when you take it out. As soon as you take out the leather wallet, you're gonna get hit with that smell. Um, it works the same way. You can still store six cards on the top and you can store a little bit more cards on the back. Although this is a lot more tighter than the aluminum one. The aluminum one, you can slide your finger up and you can take out your cards like so. But with this on the back, it's gonna be a lot more tighter really and truly. It's gonna be a lot more tighter to store your cards. But you can do it, but just keep in mind, I don't even wanna mess up the leather. And of course, you can store your cash just like so, and you're good to go. So same thing as the aluminum series, this has NFC protection, so only if your cards are you know, out, you could be able to use it, but if they tucked in, you're not gonna be able to use it. But nonetheless, this is still a very solid wallet. Now, let me shift my focus 
to the Ridge wallet. This is another very solid wallet. And as you guys can see, this is the same exact size as a standard size card. So that's one of my favorite things about Ridge. It is, it's just not going to bulk up. So no matter how many cards you have, it's still going to be thinner than a traditional wallet and even smaller than your typical wallet. You have the 18 karat gold one. I do have the Forge Amber, which is pretty cool. I like the way how this wallet looks. And that's one thing with Ridge. You could go a little bit more crazy with the colors. So you have different gradients, different art styles. You can go with carbon fiber. That is just totally absent when you go with the extra wallet. If you're a leather man, you got to go with the extra. Ridge, they don't offer no leather options whatsoever. And the thing is too with this wallet, is not as cool taking it out. You have this compartment here so you can slide your thumb out and you can be able to see what card is which. But nothing is cool than just pressing one button all your cards fan out. But you can still see what's going on here. You can store up to 12 cards and most importantly, you can store your cash towards the back using the money clip or the money strap. But I have the strap here. Okay, so you can store your cash just like so, and it's just not going anywhere. As much as you shake it, it's just not gonna fly out. And same thing with your cards, it's safe and sound. And overall, it just looks aesthetically pleasing. It's just so thin, so minimalistic, but comparing it to the Escher, yeah. It is a little expensive for what it is, so the price is ranging between $85 to $225 if you go with the 18 karat gold one. So the 18 karat gold one is the most expensive one, while the Forge Amber is uh, $140. But if you use the link in the description, you get a little discount. Um, it kind of varies on the time of day and stuff, so make sure you check the link in the description. And that's basically it for the Ridge. Nothing really that much going on. You can swap out the strap for a clip. Like I mentioned, so you can have this as a money clip. The only time I take out my wallet is to get some cash out and that's it, or if I'm going to the ATM. But other than that, I just use my Apple card. My other video, we have the Mag Wallet. This is solid, but uh, these wallets, these two wallets are just so much more cooler than the Pataka one, to be honest with you. But you can basically store some cash and it can fan out just like so. And then when you come home, you could just put it on the mag mount and keep it moving. So which wallet is the best? Now, honestly, I just got the Senate series and the aluminum series, but I'm sure those are solid wallets. If I love the Polymet series, I'm gonna love these two. And the Ridge wallet, I just had it for a month. So far, I love the minimalism, the thinness. It's the smallest wallet that I ever had. But I'm not gonna even declare a winner. Get yourself a nice quality wallet, something that's thin, something that's cool, and most importantly, something that's elegant so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed today's video i appreciate it with a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on and comment down below what you guys think until next time have a simple day i would have loved to have some kind of loop on one of these wallets or something to clip my air tags on and you could probably finagle it yeah maybe i could do something along these lines of just having my keys on my wallet so if i lose my wallet and keys i could be able to track it using my air tag